Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you two things. I'm going to show you one how to use, um, sorry, how to create a car in physics, and then also create like a rope bridge. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we'll create the sprite for the rope bridge. So we'll go new sprite, call it SBR rope. Edit the sprite. Um, this sprite's only going to be 16 by 8. Um, this isn't the whole rope, obviously. It's just a segment of it. It's like the rope itself is going to be made out of multiple things of this instance, and then we're going to join them all together with joints. But yeah, that's a rope. Center that and tick OK then create an object for it Go ob obj rope give it that sprite okay um, we're gonna set this one up to like to be physically enabled so we've got a tick uses physics we've got a parent it with dynamic parent um, change the collision shape to box and that's it Okay, now we're going to create what I call a pin, and what this does is it's a static object, but all we're using it for is to create a joint that um just like hovers there in the physics space. Um, if we were to join it to something like one of the blocks here, then um it would fall with gravity, and we don't want that to happen, so we're going to create a pin. So it's called obj pin and we're also going to need a sprite for it so just create a new sprite got sbr pin edit it um... 16 by 16 should do for this and then we're just going to make a circle and just like Okay, center that and press OK. Now give the object the sprite. Um, tick uses physics. Make sure the shape is on circle, but don't parent it to one of the other objects because we don't want anything to collide with it. So change the density to zero, restitution to zero, liner dampening to zero, angular dampening to zero, and that's that done as well. Okay, now we're going to create the main control of the rope. So this is going to create the rope and allow us to set the length and everything all in the room. Okay, so create a new object. Call it OBJ Rope Control. This doesn't need physics. Um, we're going to need one more sprite. For this, go to the sprite rope right click it and press duplicate this will give us a perfect copy of that rope sprite and just call it SBR rope control and then down here in the origin where it says 8 by 4 change 8 to 0 and then just press OK ok go back into the rope control object and give it that sprite Okay, now we're ready to add some code into this. This is only the create event, event code we'll be using, so just hit create and then uh, just add in some code. So just that, that. Okay. Now, we'll actually start writing it. So we want L for length equals image. X scale minus one. Now that's going to give us the amount of rope segments that we need. Um, the minus one is because without it, normally you'd end up with the rope being one segment too long. So we add minus one because that takes away one segment. Okay, XX equals 16. This is the position that we're creating our objects at. 
So it yeah, it just stores that position for us. Okay. Okay, I equals instance create X, Y, and O, B, J pin. So that gives us a point to um, join our rope to. Then I2 equals instance create X, Y, O, B, J rope. Okay, so then we're going to join the rope that we've created and the pin that we've created together with a revolute joint. So we go physics joint revolute create. Okay, instance 1 is I, instance 2 is I2. We want to create the joint at I dot X and I dot Y lower angle limit zero, upper angle limit zero, enable the limit zero, max motor torque zero, motor speed zero, enable motor zero, and collide instances zero. Alright, that's just gonna give us a basic revolute joint and that will um like you know just connect the two and allow for the movement between them. Okay, now we want to create the actual like main rope stuff. So at the moment we've got a pin joint, and well not a pin joint, but the pin object, and one rope segment connected to that. Now we're going to create the rest of the segments, and then we've got to end the rope afterwards. So to create the end rest of the segments, we want to go repeat, and then L. Okay, so it's going to repeat it like whatever amount of times that we set for image x scale. And then we want to go xx plus equals 16. Now that'll happen every time it runs through, so it'll keep adding to it every time we need a new object. <laughs> then i equals i2. Alright, i equals i2, this is going to mean that originally I is the pin joint and I2 is the rope. This sets I to the rope instead of the pin joint. The thing is I2 is still the rope so to change that we're going to create a whole new instance. So it'll be I2 equals instance create. So that x plus xx y and obj rope. Then we're going to join the old rope which is now set to I with the new rope which is set to I2. So we're going to write physics join revolute create. In fact well, instead of writing all that out again we can just copy and paste this one and it'll work the exact same way without any changes at all. all right. That's it for the repeat event. Okay, so that's going to create the uh, rest of our rope segments. And then all we need to do after that is create a pin and join to that. So then we want I equals I2 again. I2 equals instance create. X plus XX Y object pin then physics in fact once again we can just copy and paste this on instead of writing it all out alright so just copy that and paste it there alright and that's done okay now that we've got that done um, we've got to set that to not visible because we don't want the actual sprite to be visible only the rope itself and that should be finished all right um with all these objects here from last time we'll just get rid of all those all right now with the rope 
you want to get rope control, not pin or rope, rope control, and create one on the left, and then extend it out just by scaling it to where you want it. Alright, just like that, that'll create a rope from there to there. Okay, then we can grab a few circles and stuff, doesn't really matter, I just put on that, and now we should be good to run it. And there you go. Got a rope. Now as you'll notice you've got a circle here and a circle over there. That's the pins, so we've just gotta set those to non visible and then they'll go away. Okay, so untick visible and then they'll be gone. So we'll just run it again. And there we go. Alright, and there's a basic rope bridge. Now we're going to create a car to go on that. Okay, so first thing we want to do is create a wheel sprite for it. So I normally make mine 64 by 64, it doesn't really matter though, so just call it SPR wheel. Edit the sprite, and we're just going to make a circle, something nice and simple. Actually, it looks like I'm not going to have time for that, so in the next tutorial I'll show you how to make a car to go on that bridge. Until then, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something. Um, subscribe and like this video if you want any more tutorials, but I'll definitely be creating one to make a car, so that'll come out next. Alright, yep, thanks for watching.